sometimes, but, but we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden. Some found. All of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group. The same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Absterno Industries. We know them as the Templars. As the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years. Even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoilers, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to the hit. To Desmond. Through the animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon those who will know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it will bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of evil. This is where they led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long-lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. Frog lips. Yeah, good work, Aaron. Very good. Very well said. Pretty epic start to a game. That was a sat. That's the start of Assassin's Creed 3, the game that I've wanted to do for a while. For a while. Now that my exam's over, I finally have the chance. Even though it looks pretty poopy, pretty sucky, pretty sucks. It's the best I can put it. And it also sounds like there's a vacuum in the background. That'd be my Xbox. Don't worry though. I'm gonna fix that in the next episode. Yeah, I'm right, we are. Told you every character looked different. See what I mean by everything looks different? Ah, oh, see? Even I knew I was going to say that. I recorded this ages ago, if you're wondering. And I made little comments in between. Like three all up, I think it was. Yeah, this was before my exams even started, so it was at least. Yeah. Well, basically, it's the 8th the eighth today, so about 9 days ago. I recorded it when it first came out, but didn't have time to actually do this, so bear with it. Anyway, as you can see, we're epic, so we don't have to... Oh, damn hooligans, look at that. Riding all over sacred temple walls. We're epic, so we don't have to bring any of that shit in. Because, you know, we're Desmond. We don't have to do shit. We're awesome. Oh, we got a badass here. Out 
Alice in Wonderland re reference. Very nice, very nice indeed. Anyway, this game is set in the near, not too distant future. Basically, it's about two months away, a month and a half away from where we are now in time. Set in December 20. I'm going to say it's the 20. It's 20 something. 20th maybe because it's it, it, this, the events happened on the 21st. But no, I'm being stupid if I mean that. It's probably like the 18th, 19th. I'll even go to the 15th, but that's as far as down. And we are looking, we are looking different. Every character looks different in this game, but if you follow the lifespan of Desmond, he looks different in every single game. I think the only two that he actually looks basically the same in were Brotherhood and Assassin's Creed 2. He looks different in Assassin's Creed, he looks different in, he looks much, much different in Revelations. So different. He looks better. I like how he looks in Revelations. He looks he looks older. He looks more distinct. It probably stopped that because you know he's not supposed to be old. He's supposed to be ra um, reckless, crude, basically. First power source. Those are a bitch to get. Epic start. Epic temple. Next minute, the planet the planet blows up. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Come down. And next minute we take a nap. Caring father, father of the year, right there. Oh, look out! We got a badass over here. Some things we keep to ourselves, you know, in light of not wanting to look crazy. If you didn't hear my few my past self saying there, that was their way of saying that's the game system. The game system is that. Oh, what am I saying? That's their way of saying that they've changed. That they've upgraded their games, their gaming um, software. That's why everything looks different. Just saying. I forget that they, you know, thought Desmond was basically dead in Revelations. Like when I first played through this, I've played through it, by the way. When I first played through this, I, I kind of forgot that, you know, Desmond wasn't really with them. They by in, in Constantinople, or basically in Revelations. Too easy. Too easy. 
And again, it's not exactly hard to free run in this game. Everything is done with R. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah, they're very helpful sometimes. Oh yeah, motherfucking badass. This one, eh, not so much. Jump, jump. I got a little confused here. The bit that I was thinking of was coming up next. So I just took it. I will admit though, everything looks sweet in this game. They definitely did a good job upgrading in that. I definitely love it a lot. And a lot, I mean a lot. Like, I love this game. The multiplayer is really, really weird. I don't think I'm going to play that much, if even at all. Maybe I'm doing something wrong with it, but it's nothing like it was in Brotherhood. I never really played um, Revelations multiplayer, I just, because I rented the game, so I never got a chance, but it's nothing like it is in Brotherhood. Like, you have to, it, it's hard to explain. Maybe I'm missing something, but I don't think I'll be playing it that much. Now, if I want to play the um, multiplayer at Assassin's Creed, I'll probably most likely go back to Brotherhood. Because that was easy, that was fun. This one is just, it's, it's just weird just weird, that's like the best way I could possibly mention it.